Hello, Andy Reynolds, livemusicbusiness.com, and in this lesson you are going to be looking at how to create a concert tour budget using Excel. When creating your tour budget, be mindful you may have to create separate budgets. There may be a record company involved, they may have arranged some promotional activity, that will come from a separate department, they will want to see a separate budget. In any case, to create your budget, you should fire up your favorite spreadsheet program, and we want to create seven columns. We want to put our tour income in. And then we want to create four sections that are going to be the sections of our budget items. And those sections are wages, transport, accommodation, and production. Here is an Excel spreadsheet, but most spreadsheet programs are the same. And just for a quick recap, Spreadsheets are made up of columns, which go down, rows, which go across, and then we have our individual cells, into which we can add information, words or pictures, or figures, numbers, and we can have formulas within the cells which will help us multiply, divide, add up, or take away the numbers that we enter. Here's an example of the seven columns with the headers. Now we're creating budget items, so I'll put the headers in to tell me what they are. So obviously, first column, I've got my budget item itself, whatever it may be, tour manager, splitter van, per DMs, airfare. Our second column will tell me who the supplier is, the name of the company or the individual who's supplying those services. A column for any notes. Then we've got the unit cost. This is the cost of the budget item. So for instance, we're hiring a tour manager. A tour manager is $200 a day. That is our unit cost. And our unit cost can be by day or per hour, per week, per month, or a one-off, whatever it is. This is the column we put that information in. I then have two multiplier columns, which I'll explain in a second. And finally, my total. So those are our seven columns. And one of the first things we should do before we get onto our rows or our tour income is just is to put our total formula in. This is going to help us to add up all the figures that we're going to put in. So for instance, say we have a tour manager and they're going to cost $200 a day. There's 20 days and there's only one tour manager. We want a formula in that cell that's highlighted that's going to show me what that total is. So in this first column, and the first cell in the column, I'm going to highlight it. And to create a formula, we're going to press equals on our keyboard. We're then going to click in this cell, which, as you can see, has added the name of the cell to the total column. Then on my keyboard, I'm going to find and enter the multiply, which is the small star. Then I'm going to click on this second cell. And this is now showing in my uh, totals column that this cell times this cell is going to give me a result. But I also want to include that second multiplier column. Again, add my times button and click in that cell. That's automatically added that to the formula. Now if I press enter, this formula, which you can see in the formula bar here, is going to take that unit cost and multiply it by that, then multiply it by that. So back to my tour manager example, I have a tour manager. $200 a day, there are 20 days in the tour, and there's only one tour manager, and my total for the tour manager for the tour, a 20-day tour, is going to be $4,000. So now I've got my columns in, I've started to add the information, I've put a formula in, and now I'm going to put my sections in of all the budget items that I require. Here is how your spreadsheet should look now. You've got your columns in. I've also put the rows, the headers for the rows, for all of the four main budget item headings. And there will be subcategories in those. And I filled in a bit more information uh, to do with those figures for the tour manager. So we now know it's the tour manager under item. Her name is Mary Power under supplier and those figures are still in there. So now I'm just gonna add a couple of things to this spreadsheet so that we can use it as a fully functioning budget. We need to know what the total is of all the budget items. So I'm gonna create a total box here. So
I'm going to create a formula in this cell here to add up anything in this column. So clicking in the cell again, I'm going to press my equals to create a cell. I'm then going to type sum and an open bracket. I'm then going to click into the first cell that I need adding up. I'm going to add a colon and I'm going to click the last cell that I need adding up and then I'm going to close the brackets. Anything that ends up being entered into that blue column will be totaled into the cell at the bottom that is indicated as total expenses. So I'm now going to press enter. As there is nothing else in that column, it still says 4,000. If I'm to add another line item, another crew person, for instance, that total will change. So I'm going to duplicate the formula to add up my line items into the total column. So all I need to do, I don't need to enter that formula by hand into every single cell in this column. I can click on here. I can copy it and then select the columns I wish to paste it into and paste the formula. As you can see, they all say zero. If I'm to if I'm now add another crew person and how much they're going to cost me per day for the duration of the tour and there's only one. This cell has been updated with the total cost and this cell has been updated to indicate all my budget costs. I'm also going to put my tour income in as we saw in the slides. And this is the total of all the expected fees from the shows. So I'm going to put in an arbitrary figure, say $20,000. That would be my tour income for the tour. And then I'm going to create a final cell with a formula, which is going to take my expenses away from my tour income. So again, I press the equals button, I click on that cell, press the minus, click on that cell to indicate I want H25 to be taken away from H27, and I press enter, and now I have, at the moment, a positive tour balance. Having created your spreadsheet, you then need to fill it in with the information. As you can see, for my wages, it's just not my crew. I might have session musicians for my transport. I'm going to decide what transport I'm using based on distance and my accommodation. Do I need uh, hotel rooms every single night? I might be on a sleeper bus, for instance. And my production, which I'm going to divide up into the six elements. PA, lights, video, set, stage and backline. I'm then going to go to my suppliers to actually get quotes to supply the equipment, the transport, the accommodation, whatever it is that I need to do this tour. And what will usually happen is I will send a list of the dates as supplied by the booking agent to the suppliers and ask them to quote on the tour. Once I've got the information, the quotes back, say it's a sleeper bus company and they say it's going to cost me this much money to do the tour then I fill in the budget as I need to. As I receive the quotes back from the suppliers, that will give me the cost that I can put then into my tour budget sheet. And I've already entered a formula into there, which is going to add them all up and will give me the total of my tour costs. There are other associated costs to do with the tour that you may need to factor in. In any case, you then add them into your budget sheet as well. And you end up with a tour income minus your tour costs, which equals a profit or loss. And this loss is known as the shortfall. That's how you create a tour budget. Alternatively, you can go to livemusicbusiness.com and download the template that is provided for you.